Hello all petitions how are you all welcome for today's science class in class 6 let's start today's session with a new chapter that is where does our food comes from this is class 6 first chapter in this chapter we are going to study about the topic source of food and its introduction so why do we need food first question arises we need food to get energy to grow and for growth and development to fight disease to regulate all body functions for repair and maintenance of body it makes our bones and muscles strong to keep our body fit healthy and active that's why we need food so we can see many pics over here many type of foods are available and we will take these foods to get energy plant give us food animals give it foods in a different and different forms so there are two main source of food what are they plants and animals let's take them one by one we obtain the food that we obtain from plants you can see green vegetables corns apples roots stems many type of food is obtained from plants different part of a plant that are eaten as food is first i like to take that is seed so we use seeds of many plant as food we use them as cereals pulses spices and nuts cooking oil are even obtained from the seed of some plants so you can see the sprouts we are eating these seeds after their germination after they are sprouted and they are very much rich in minerals and vitamins that's why we prefer sprouts in our diets second is roots radish turnip carrot beetroot are some of the roots that are eaten as vegetable so after these sprouts which are adding in our diet we consider as flowers also see the flowers like broccoli flower cauliflower banana flower as we are adding them in our diets which make us healthy and give us vitamin and minerals even we are adding the roots in our diet that's carrot radish beetroot turnip sweet potato jam or roots carrot radish and turnips can be eaten even raw also so bulbs you can see the onion bulbs garlic bulbs they are edible they can be eaten and they are very healthy rich in all type of minerals now from the fruits we are getting pickles we can prepare pickles and we can add in our diet all the fruits and vegetables can be form and stored in a form of pickles and even fruits are mainly stored in the form of jams as they give all the vitamin and minerals different fruit has different quality so they can be stored in our containers and in our diet they can be involved stem we can say potato is a stem ginger turmeric sugar cane lotus stems are edible they can be eaten the juice of sugar cane is very popular and it may give us sugar and jaggery also so ginger and turmeric is also used as in spices also it increases the flavor of the diet now leaves yes we are eating the leaves of the vegetables too 
like the mint, coriander, spinach. These leaves we are eating and cabbage is a very popular vegetable. We are taking it as a vegetable. Curry leaves are also used in the spices also to make the food delicious. So let's talk about few about animals which give us food and we get food from animals. Animals products are used as food directly or indirectly. Milk, eggs, meat are proper and important examples of food. Animal products too are rich source of nutrients. The food chain is composed of exactly these animals starting with organism that use the energy of the sun to the apex at which the organisms are predators and rely on producers. Let us take a look on some of the food obtained from animals such as fish, meat, eggs and even milk we are getting from the cow, camel, buffaloes. Thank you for today's lecture. Stay safe and secure at your homes.